Hello friends, in my last session I told you how to determine delay at a signal control intersection and also we discussed in that session two cases when there is under saturation or saturation. So in case of under saturated cycle the condition is that Q into C should be equal to should be less than S into G. Q is the rate of arrival, C is the cycle length, S is the rate of departure which we call saturation flow and small g is the effective green time. Q is considered to be uniform, uniform rate of arrival and in case of saturated cycle when the rate of arrival is equal to rate of departure in a cycle then this is equal to S into g. We also discussed that the average delay to an individual vehicle under these two cases will be given by this equation. C the cycle length 1 minus this is called green ratio divided by twice of 1 minus Q by S, Q by S is called the flow ratio. So this is the equation which we derived in our last session. Now in this session we will discuss how to calculate, how do we determine the delay when there is over saturation. Now if you recall in our first session I told you that if you plot a cumulative input output curve then this is let us say Q and that is how your output looks like. This is the input output cumulative curve. When you have uniform rate of arrival Q and rate of departure is S, during red period there will be no departure and then the flow picks up at the stop line. This will re reach to this, this uh, uh, input line and then during this time period there will be arrival equal to departure. This is what we call unsaturated green and this is saturated green GS. We calculated the amount of GS also in our last session. You can just refer that and this delay is calculated by determining the area under the input and output curve. During peak period, it's happens that the flow fluctuates. Suddenly you get a flow which is much higher than Q and in that case departure rate is constant because the capacity of the intersection is constant and therefore departure rate remains here but the flow suddenly increases. That is what we call the failure of individual cycle. The signal has not failed but individual cycle has failed because there is sudden increase in the flow input. But this, this condition cannot continue for a long time otherwise the Q will become infinite and let us say after 10 minutes or 8 minutes or 12 minutes of peak period this flow again reduces and it touches this line. That is what we call the over saturation at the signal. Let us say this time is T1 and this time is T2. So during 0 to T1 there is sudden increase in the input flow, inflow at the intersection approach and then during T1 to T2 it again reduces slowly and come to a normal flow which is Q. Now this is Q, I will take this flow as Q. Now this output curve will change like this that during like this. There is no unsaturated green. In fact, there is a Q even after green is terminated. So this is the output curve and this is the input curve. 
And as I told you in my last session, the area between the input and output is the delay. So if you draw a line here, let us say a, a, a dotted line here, I draw a dotted line here that indicates a situation. This indicates a situation which is your cycle is completely saturated. So this is condition when QC is S into G. But because Q is not Q here, the actual flow Q is this one. So let me take it another M, let us say. If the flow is M, which is which creates complete saturation at the intersection, then this dotted line will appear here. And this M will be equal to S into G by C. And that is what we call the capacity. Capacity of the intersection, capacity of the signal. S into G by C. So now you can consider two area. This is one area. This is another area. Okay. So delay because of area 1 and delay because of area 2. Now if this is the dotted, if this is the inflow which we call M, put this value of Q here, Q is now M and solve this equation, you get D average equal to C minus G by 2, half of the red time. If you substitute value of Q equal to S into G by C, then it will be half of the red time, average delay because of saturated cycle. Now the question is how do we find out the delay because of this area 1. Now consider let us say this is the maximum delay here. Maximum delay let us say Z. Okay. You can find out you see if you know all these numbers on time scale and Y axis input output scale, you can find out what is the maximum delay to a vehicle, which delay is which vehicle is delayed maximum. Say this is nth vehicle here, okay. Nth vehicle, you can say 20th vehicle in the queue. What will be the delay to this vehicle? This is the delay on the time scale. There is a delay on the time scale to nth vehicle. Anyway. Our point is how to find out this jet, that is the maximum delay. Now this, what is the average delay because of the oversaturation? If you consider this triangle here from this 0 and let us say A and let us say B, okay. Now this jet is varying from 0 to a maximum value of jet. So I can say that the average value of this delay is z by 2 and similarly from this point to this point, this z varies from a highest value of z to 0. So average value is again z by 2. So, so the point is that whatever be the position of the vehicle in the queue, the average delay because of oversaturation will be z by 2. z is the maximum delay. This order, this horizontal projection. Now this z you can find out, this is let us say y. Now this y upon z is the slope of this dotted line. y upon z is the slope of dotted line and this slope we have assumed to be m. So m is y upon z. m that is the flow rate corresponding to saturated cycle. Or you can say that this y is this is time t1, this is the flow on y axis this one. Now this is q 
q into t1 okay q into t1 q1 is now actual flow q into t1 and this is m into t1 m is the hypothetical flow which will create a condition of saturation so this is equal to q t1 minus m t1 now you know q you know t1 how much time this flow is increased or in in a increasing order or you can say that this z is now q t1 minus m t1 upon m or z is t1 into q upon m minus 1 okay m is the capacity m is the capacity s into g by c so average delay will now be d average because of area 1 is z by 2 that is t1 by 2 into q upon m minus 1 plus c minus g by 2 because of area 2 that is half of the right time this is the delay delay under over saturation condition so if you take the same example which we took in our earlier session that there is an intersection there is an intersection where the rate of departure is 1800 vehicles per hour of green cycle length is 140 green time is 42 second and let us assume that the flow in initial let us say 10 minutes the flow q is 700 vehicles per hour you remember in our earlier case in our earlier session when the q was taken 540 vehicles per hour it was a completely saturated cycle so this line corresponds to a flow value of 540 vehicles per hour now for 10 minutes the flow is 700 vehicles per hour so t1 t1 is 10 minutes let us say 10 minutes so for a q is equal to 700 vehicles per hour what would be the average delay now here m i told you m is the capacity and this corresponds to this total line where the departure is equal to arrival so m m will be equal s into g by c you can calculate this 18 1 800 into 42 divided by 140 this will be 540 because this is the condition of flow which will create saturation at the intersection now the actual flow is 700 for 10 minutes so t1 is 10 minutes 10 minutes be 600 seconds q is now 700 you can find out what is the d average d average is now 600 divided by 2 into q 700 by 540 minus 1 plus c minus g that is 98 red time by 2 this will be 137.8 seconds that is your level of service f okay but you should remember that the situation cannot be for a long time here it is 10 minutes after 10 minutes this line should touch this total line otherwise q will become infinite so that is how we analyze 
delay at a signal control intersections. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.